much all of human counting has been based on fives or tens, and for a good reason. We have ten fingers, so why not count to ten? Sure, that's reasonable. But what if I told you you could count to a bit more than a thousand on both hands? More specifically, 1023. For those of you guessing I was talking about the binary system, you're correct. For those of you who don't know what the binary system is and think it's a big nerdy math thing that you don't even need to use in everyday life, you're correct. But regardless, listen up. Whenever we count, we count up through tens digits before we add a 1 to the front of the number and call it 10. What's really going on there, though, is that the 1 means 1 cycle through all of the 10 digits in the 1's place, and the 0 means no more numbers after that. The 1 in the 100 means 1 cycle through all of the 10's digits, which each mean 1 cycle through all of the 1's digits. Or put in multiplication, 10 tens, 100. In binary, it works exactly the same, except now there are only two digits to choose from. So when you add a 1 to the front of the number, you're really saying one cycle through two digits in the lower place, or more simply two. What might look like 100 to you in decimal is actually two cycles through two cycles of digits, two times two, or four. Just like in base 10, you can combine the digits, say two tens and three ones, 23. In binary, you would write that as 116, no eights, one four, one two, and one one. 23. When counting in binary, you still add 1 to the rightmost digit, but since 1 plus 1 is 2, you need to move that group of 2 over to the next place. The next time you have a 2 and you add it to the 2's place, you get two twos, which you move over to the 4's place. This continues with every higher place afterwards. You can try counting in binary on your fingers, where extending your finger represents a 1 and curling your finger in represents a 0. On one hand, you can count all the way up to 31 and with both, you can count up to 1,023. Just make sure not to do 4, 128, or especially 132 when around company, as a general rule. Most people, when asked about binary, think of computers, but the idea of counting in base 2 is actually much older than the computer. We credit the invention of binary numbers to a man named Gottfried Leibniz, who is mostly known for developing the branch of integral calculus. But before that, he liked to work with these binary numbers, which eventually led to him designing some of the earliest mechanical calculators. While the binary system did predate computers by quite a bit, it isn't surprising that it was the number system of choice when computers began to be developed. The key advantage of the binary system over all other number systems is its simplicity. Suppose you want to add two numbers in decimal. Every column of digits you add, you have to memorize the combination of additions. 7 plus 2? That's 9. 3 plus 8? That's an 11. Uh-oh, better carry over the 1. 3 plus 4 plus 1. That's 8. In binary, there are only 4 ways two digits can add together, as opposed to 100 in base 10. Each of these 4 combinations are also rather simple to determine. The only time you regroup a place is if both digits are 1s, rather than remembering which combinations of digits are greater than 10. In computers, making a circuit that outputs a 1 if both inputs are 1s is a lot simpler than making a circuit for every possible combination of 10 digits that add together to a number greater than 10. Even if the binary number has about 3 times as many places as the decimal number of equal value. Try multiplication. In base 10, you need to go by each number individually until all of them have been multiplied by each other. But in binary, you only need to multiply by 0, which is always 0, or 1, which is always the other number. Again, another decision much easier to make with a few logical statements rather than building an entire 10x10 10 10 multiplication table into a computer chip. In the end, it all comes down to what works best. And computers and humans think of numbers in two different ways because it works better for each. As humans, we can remember more distinct digits since they give us shorter numbers, while computers can be built to hold more places in each number, but are most efficient when the numbers are put in the simplest terms possible. It's just as possible to make a computer that works on base 10 numbers as it is to count on your fingers in base 2 numbers. But in the end, whether you use 2 digits, 10 digits, or 36 digits, the number being represented is always the same value.